Welcome to the AussieHome.com video on how to use the client zone. First thing you have to do is go to AussieHome.com and top right there's a login now button, big green button, click that. And on the right hand side, login is the real estate agent with the username and password that we've given you. You can change this at any time, just let us know. Okay, punch the login and there you are, into the client zone main menu. You've got the weather up there on the right and a message board on the left. Have a look at this. We change the message about two times a day with all the latest information that's relevant for you. Up on the main tabs, FAQ, Frequently Asked Questions. Have a look here. You might find an answer to one of your questions already there. There's some manuals. For example, one manual on how to use this client zone. 17 page manual that you might want to print off. It's there in PDF form and you can send it to those who need it. Back on the main menu, and you've got an array of buttons there. At the top we show you who we're feeding you to, and in grey who we're not. Manage Properties button, Manage Staff button, Update the Website button if you've got a website with us, Hits and Inquiries, a blog, e-newsletter, property alerts, and invoices and statements. If anything's greyed out, it means it hasn't been set up for you yet, so contact us to do that. Alright, manage properties where you'll spend most of your time. Quickly editing, you can do that by entering the ID number. Add a new property. Here we're going to add a for sale property. The things in red are compulsory. You have to have an agent. Charlie Gunningham. Type, say apartment. The other things are not obligatory if they're not in red. Road number and road name has to be put in. Some of the sites we feed to, like realty.com, insist on an address. You don't have to show the address, but it has to be entered. Quick tip, to get down to your suburb, just enter the first letter and it takes you there. If you want to hide the road number or name or hide the map or hide the street map, you can do so by ticking those buttons. The price has to be entered. The obligatory field is something that people obviously search for on the web. But what you display as the price can be written in text on the right hand side, up to 23 characters. Here I've written offers from the 700 thousands. Put in the lot size, put in the other things, auction times, rates and levies. Tick boxes as you go down and they'll show on the website, ours and yours. Bedrooms and bathrooms have to be entered. If it's a piece of land, just enter zero for both. A headline has to be entered, nice and brief at what appears in the search results. And then the text, the full description. Tap that in there and you'll see the character counter. You've got up to 2,000 characters max in the main description. Starts to flick over. A couple of things to be aware of. You can enter return and that'll space it out nicely for you and put paragraphing in, but no pasting in from Word, please. Go via Notepad if you want to do this. It takes out the bad code that comes in from Word. And please, no attempting HTML tags like B for bold and I for italics. It doesn't work and it stuffs up the feeds. There's a spell checker there, of course. And then when you're ready, you can press Upload. However, if you want to get the property ready and don't want to send it live, go up to the top and click No, property not to go live. But if you want it to go live, leave it as a default option, yes to go live. And if everything's worked successfully, you'll get this confirmation screen. Well, you'll then have a few options to upload property photos, update another property, etc. Let's add some photos. Click the Add Photos link and a box pops up allowing you to upload five property photos at a time. Now, no more than two megabytes per photo please and you can upload five at a time. There's some free software there and some tips. Click Browse, go and find the photo from your computer. Press the Upload button and in real time that photo will go up to the web. Close and reload to see the photos that you've loaded. There's the main photo. Other things you might want to add, like floor plans and lot plans, just click the Add Plans button. Choose whether it's a floor plan or a lot plan. You might want to add virtual tours or movies. Remember to put in the full web address, http dot dot forward slash forward slash www dot 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 from the provider that has given you the web address. Maybe you want to upload a PDF form. You can do that as long as it's no more than half a megabyte or 500 kilobytes. If you want to edit the existing properties, go back to the main menu and click Edit. Click the Word icon if you want to change the text. It gets back to the similar screen we had when we added the property. If you want to edit the photos, 
click on the little camera icon next to it are the number of images already on that property here there's three for example you can replace the photos delete them swap them with the main image or if you want to start again click the delete all photos and they'll all go back on the main menu if you want to edit properties and you've got a long list use the keyword gets you there quickly the not live list anything you haven't yet added yet live home opens the Saturday and Sunday columns default to the upcoming weekend but you can of course choose a different date like a Wednesday or a Thursday a couple of Saturdays time remember to enter them at the form 11.00 a.m. like I've done here to select the date click the select date choose the date you want and then you'll see the date appears for that property up to two home opens per property and once the home open date has passed those home opens will be deleted click the update button and you'll get a confirmation screen that that's all worked well let's say you wanted now to recover things from the archive no properties are deleted there they are Again, there's a keyword search. There's also some useful printable stock lists and brochures there. You can choose how you want them displayed, whether you want photos or not, how many per page. And you can choose a for sale or a for rent list. And you can use that, saves you a bit of time to doing it in Word. Print it out straight off the screen, staple it, put it at the front of your office. Easy. There's also some brochures there and home open lists as well. Back on the client zone main menu, let's say I wanted to change some staff. Go to the uh, manage staff button. I want to edit the text like the person's name or their phone or their email or even the order in which they appear. You can do that there. Choose their feature property. Even add some testimonials and a nice profile for any members of your staff and you can do that whenever you like. Let's say you've got a website hosted with us. Through the same client zone, you can actually update pages of your website. Click the update website and go to the relevant page and do what you need to do. There's another manual and there'll be another video on how to use this in more detail. E-newsletter, property alerts, hits and inquiries and other things are all there. Don't forget to log out when you're finished. Wish you all the best with it. If you've got any problems, don't forget to contact us, service at aussiehome.com or ring our phone number.